welcome to Learning English with the SHES, clip number nine. I'm Hai, and this episode is all about how to tell people bad news. First of all, let's listen to how four people inform Ang what happened. Oh, teacher. Well, no one. I'm afraid that I've got some bad news for you. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Mm. You know, you didn't have good grades, which sadly means that you won't be able to go to a university just this year. Oh my God. However, it's not totally bad news because you can apply for another one. Oh, I wish that. Yes. Hey, what about this holiday? Well, the holiday is actually we've got to cancel it. Why? I'm sorry, but I'm just so busy this week. Oh, oh I'm yeah, afraid. So, that, okay, yeah, okay, I'm yeah. afraid that it's all off. Do you see what happened to Ang? Firstly, she didn't have the required grade to get her place at a university. Secondly, she didn't get into the second round of Utah 2012. Thirdly, her holiday was cancelled. And lastly, her pet Lucy died. Well, let's start all over again and listen to how they told Ang the bad news. I'm afraid that I've got some bad news for you. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Mm. You know, you didn't have good grades, which sadly means that you won't be able to go to a university just this year. Sam said, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, and then told Aang she didn't get the high grades. Uh, well, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you is a common way used to give bad news. Uh, using chess, um, I'm afraid, it's also a simple way to introduce bad news. As you carry on, you can see the other three speakers in the structure as well. Uh, when you tell people some bad news, it's also common to say something positive. This will help things uh, sound a little bit um, better than they really are. So let's listen to how it's done. However, it's not totally bad news because you can apply for another one. Sam said, however, it's not totally bad news and then mentioned something positive. Fortunately, Ang can apply for another university. Uh, the next bad news is that Ang didn't get into the second round of Utah 2012. Listen to how Ngoc tell Ang. Thank you for joining Utah 2012. Um, you did really well on it. Again, Ngoc said something positive. You did very well on it before telling Ang the bad news. Uh, did you hear how Ngoc gave the bad news? She said, unfortunately, you are not going to the second round. Unfortunately is another way of giving bad news. It is also used in the same way as I'm afraid. In a third example, a friend of Ang canceled the holiday. Well, the holiday is actually, we've got to cancel it. Why? I'm sorry, but I'm just so busy this week. Sam said, I'm really sorry, but it's all soft. Uh, meaning is cancelled. I'm really sorry, but it's similar to I'm afraid, but less formal. In the last example, Ngoc tell Ang her pet died. I got some bad news for you. Your pet Lucy, he didn't make it through the operation and he died last night. I'm really sorry. Ngoc also used sorry, but at the end it's time to offer sympathy to Ang. Also notice Ngoc's voice. She speak in a quiet and calm way. This is another way to show sympathy when you give someone bad news. So to sum up, here are some common ways to introduce bad news. Is I'm afraid or unfortunately or I'm sorry but.
something positive, either before or after the bad news, so things didn't seem so bad. Use a soft tone of voice, it makes you sound kind. This is the end of our clip today. Hope you find it helpful. Goodbye and see you soon.